Well, Matty, uh, you signed for Coventry uh, this time last season. Obviously, you were in League One. You had a tremendous first season. I think it's fair to say 14 league goals and 26 league appearances. Tell us a little bit about how you found your first season playing for Coventry. Yeah, it's right. It went exactly how you, you dream of it is going as a first season. Um, it was um, obviously we started started okay. We was we was obviously up there all, all season, but we was we was drawing a lot of games and uh, especially away from home. We can we couldn't buy a win away from home. We weren't losing, but we was we wasn't winning. Um, and then all of a sudden, around Christmas time, we got we got that first win away at top of the table, Wickham, and uh, and didn't look back from there. And then I think after Christmas is when we we hit our peak and and everything started to come together and and we was blowing teams away with the football we was playing and and then we got we got the prize that we wanted. Um, I know it was uh, shortened, but we got the prize that was all after come the end of the season. Yeah, look, it was brilliant. Um, you're up now into the championship, obviously. It's at a higher level again. Um, but for yourself, what are your kind of goals and aspirations for the season ahead? I, I, I don't really set myself goals and targets, but I always try and better what I've done the year before. And um, so to, to, to better my, my goals tally, it would always be a kind of target. Um, but obviously, we're just looking forward to going in and competing against the teams that we're coming up against and, and going to stamp our authority on the on the championship because we know with the, the football that we play and the players that we got them we're more than capable of of putting our stamp and and showing the the world and, and and teams in that division how we play and so it's one that we're definitely looking forward to and your gaffer was well used to scoring goals and um, in big games would he be lending a hand to you on little movements and little positions maybe that he would have taken up and you might learn a little bit from him also yeah, he says he says something to me every day. I'm 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 asking him questions and he's just showing me little things. It's not it's not massive things. It's it's literally two yard, one yard little movements. He, he, the gaffer's one of those that he's he's trying to take stop me from wasting my energy outside outside the penalty box because he knows that my, my my main strength is inside the six and eighteen yard box. And obviously, I do a lot of unselfish running and. Um, he's trying to take that away from from me as such, not not to stop me working hard, but to try and conserve and save me energy for for inside the six and eighteen yard box, um, because that's where that's where I like I like to play. And Matty, you're in the middle of obviously pre season now. It's all about getting getting that fitness up and getting the levels up. Are you a fan of pre season? Some players like it, some players don't like it. But how do you find it? Yeah, I, I just. I hate having. I, I like obviously having a little break from football. Come the end of the season, when we have a when we have our usually it's about six weeks off, seven weeks off, and the first two weeks I I think it's great having the time off. But then you, you ask my missus, you ask anyone, I'm I'm itching to get back just because you you just I just love being around like the lads and around and and training and uh, I'd say pre season is is something that I look forward to because you can you can feel yourself. You come back sluggish you've not touched the ball in ages but then you can start to feel yourself getting fitter and 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 that's that's a pleasing aspect for me when you can feel yourself getting fitter and um and then obviously you start building into the the, the start of the season so and we know that's only four weeks away now three weeks away. and Matty you said um you don't set goals but you've got 14 last season in 26 games so if you beat if you better that it means Coventry you're going to have a good season because you're going to be Coming close up to that twenty mark, hopefully. Yeah, that that was the aim. I, I, I'd have backed myself to get twenty um, if the if the, the season wasn't curtailed, uh, curtailed early. So um, yeah, who, who knows what um, what will happen if if I can beat my beat my goals tally from last year? So yeah, who knows where we'll end up. Well, Matty, all, all I'd like to say just to finish this off is the very best of luck from everyone at Boyle Sports. We wish Coventry all the best. Thank you. Cheers, boys.